Rockbourne Roman Villa was discovered in 1942 when oyster shells and tile were found by a farmer digging out a ferret. A local estate agent and antiquarian, A.T. Morley Hubert, recognized the significance of the find and dug a trial hole coming straight down onto a mosaic floor, etc., etc. The rest history. The Roman villa was found and preserved, etc., etc. But the point being, estate agents are all right. We're not so bad, estate agents. You might wonder what we've ever done for anyone. Of course, whether the Romans deserve such honors. They buried more than a few of my ancestors when they came riding in. Sure, that we're bad at being humans, but aren't we all? And anyway, everyone deserves to walk the earth once in their lifetime and twice in remembrance. Then, too, that was back when wars were acceptable infants. Now they're overgrown idiots. I wish I knew what people spoke about in moments like this. I know what you mean. Two men talking with two women. Implication clear, but roots unclear. There's the argument that nothing happening to anyone at any given time has any kind of sense. I speak without knowing what you were thinking, and the same in reverse. Wordy progressions wander around. Wonder why anything is ever bothered to say. Sometimes I stand and draw a non-existent circle in the air, and then a small yellow light that's not there either. I let that follow the line of the non-existent circle, round and round until the calm of graveyards comes over me. I've heard of these habits before, from torn lips and gnashing teeth. True. It's disturbing. But try understanding, selling, and buying a piece of property. For me, I got this thing. Uh, lately, when I get home for a visit in Montana with my ex and the kids, I'll be lolling in the guest bed there with just my wool socks and long johns and the rafters of dead fixed polished forest above and I'll snap up awake far, far too early in the morning, 4 a.m., sometimes 3 a.m. I won't be able to sleep for want to speak with my Uncle Teddy who got disemboweled in this latest war, all because of those warmonger bastards, all because he was running with the wrong country. So I'll go ahead and clamber myself up out of bed and creep, 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 as much as a heavy fella like myself can creep, on down to the shadowed kitchen to get myself a glass of milk, and then I'll come up onto the crumbling porch, out into the cool, and I can peer down through the skeleton trees, the fog all spotted by our small town lights, and I light the crane and look up above that vista, down to just past the edge of the stars, where they're sneaking out, that sky curve where the stars sneak out, where they're Merging and smearing a bet, and I, I watch them slip up into the expanse and cherish little angel taps, and 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 then I put myself there in my head, peering down still further to what's among the silent ragged tears, the mountains of night. And I'll be walking down the slope, through the town, up the rickety side of the valley, past foothill after foothill, running even with my bare feet bleeding and my socks shredding free, taking only a footstep a millisecond so I can hurry to return before dawn, and then topping the summit of the one hill, and I'll be shouldering my way up a darkened hillside scraping through swatches of leaves, catching against innocent soldier trees and not looking around too much in the air for fear I'll see the glimmer from some haunter. And then it's down into a sinkhole with me. My feet start to slide and then I let myself go, slowly coming down onto my rump, 
and then twisting in among the crisp dead leaves as much as a heavy fella like myself can twist and slide and on into this hole in the earth where there are friendly bundles of fur friendly tongues lapping pleasantly scratchy at your face things close that also once were human and I start to grow fur my own self my eyes go blind from no need for sun and the deeper I go the more warmth I find about that fellow over there in his trench coat. Settling in, wiping his lips for the first pint of early afternoon. She doesn't speak English. You just said you were sisters. But she grew up in Poland with a different father. I'm sorry my country neglected to save your country from old Hitler. Your country needs to save itself. The world in general needs to save it. Maybe it needs burying. Tell me how you pronounce your name again. Fella. You've got spark, Fella. You have the invisible color. You hardly know me. There's an empty house up in high gates the four of us could retreat to. I have keys, more drink, could be more. We could loose our tongues and become friends. Certainly be curious to see that. It's a long walk. We have the afternoon off. We do. We saw her eyes, we saw her we saw hand, her we were hand. talking her eyes. beneath her, took his I was speaking beneath her, I was speaking, I looked up at her, I was her speaking eyes. beneath her, we saw her eyes, we took his tongue, we saw into her eyes, we saw her hand, we saw into her eyes, we saw her eyes, we saw her eyes, I was standing below, we were on the bridge, we were on the bridge, we were speaking, we were walking her, we were walking her, we were going up the road, we were going up the path, we were going Going step the the blood, the blood, step step the the mud, the mud, the mud was blood, the blood, blood was blood. Go back, go back to the mud, go back to the mud. We were walking on the path, we were remembering her eyes. They took his tongue, we had eyes, no tongue, had no tongue. We came to the end of the path, to the end of the path. There were no signs, we came to the end of the path, to the end of the path. We came to the end of the path, to the end of the path. To the tunnels, we had 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 the tunnels, we are in the tunnels. We're in the tunnels. We're in the tunnels. 